Hello, my dear students. I am Rajni and I am welcoming you all to Vistas Learning, where you get quality education. It's for all the students. Yes, for all the grades and classes, wherever you are, you can watch our video. Now, you have seen my previous video. Was it amazing? You have enjoyed it? Shapes and Spatial Understanding? We have started with part 1. We will go with part 2. What's in it? We will see more shapes and more spatial. We will understand it. How are they formed? First, let me just clear the doubts about slides and roll. There are some surfaces which are plain in figure and there are some surfaces which are round in figure. Some Objects can simply slide, but some object has no sliding feature. They have to roll down. You see this ball? It has no plane surface. So, what will it do? It will just simply roll down. Try this out. It's a fun activity. You will enjoy it. Take a ball, just slide it, it will just simply roll down. No plain surface. That's the reason. What else do we have which can simply roll down? A bottle? A coin? Yes, a bottle can simply roll down because the surface of a bottle is not plain. I'll show you next. Let's see what's next. It's a book. It's having plain surface. Why? Because if it is having plain surface, it will simply slide. It will not roll. It will simply slide. Whereas, if you have seen this, you can understand very clearly. Objects are there which can simply roll down. Take a bottle. Take a pencil. Take a ball. These three objects are having round figure. They will not slide. They will simply roll down. Because bottle, if you keep it in that position, it will simply roll down. Try it out. You are having a plain surface. Even if you try a plain surface, you will find that it will roll. It will not stay in one position. Ball, you just put, throw it with your leg. It will simply roll down. Pencil, it keeps on falling. All the time. And it rolls and rolls and rolls. It goes far away. Why? Because they are not having plain surface. That's the reason they will go far away. And that is very interesting. Playing with ball. What if the ball was having plain surface? You couldn't play. Is it? That's the reason ball is having round surface. Which you can say also curved figure. Now. Let's move to the next one. We see four objects over there that can simply slide. The book, the box, the goggles and the cap or a hat. Now, you can't play with book. You can't throw it. It will not roll down. It will not roll. It will simply slide. So, if you also try to roll this thing, it will simply slide. That's the reason why the book is having a plain surface. Goggles, it is also having a plain surface. It will not roll down. It will simply slide. Yes, it will simply slide. Box, plain surface, you see at the end, at the bottom, it's having plain surface. So it will also not roll. It will simply slide. Hat. Hat is having a plain surface. Not as plain surface as a book. But yes, that will also slide down. It won't roll. Now, do you have understood what is the difference between slides and rolls? Yes. Am I clear? Can you understand whatever I am explaining you? Now, 
if you are getting my point, then tell me any two objects rather than I have shown you. Tell me any two objects which can simply roll and slide. Comment down below. I'll be reading all the messages, all the comments and I'll tell you more about it. Now, let's see what we are having next. Okay, that's having some shape. It's written different shapes. Oh, we have gone through many shapes. These four shapes are the major shapes. Around you, you will find these kinds of shapes, these kinds of objects also. What do we have first? We have square. Then it's a rectangle. Yes, then a triangle and then a circle. You have said all right, all. Wow, come on, read it with me. Square, rectangle, triangle and circle. Square, what is it? We have different shapes. Yes. Do you see? Four figures are there. And we don't know this. What is this? Let's say together. Okay? Different shapes. First one, square. Second one, rectangle. Third one, triangle. Fourth one, circle. Four shapes. These four shapes are very important. Why it is important? Because all the objects around you are formed with these four shapes. Square, rectangle, triangle and circle. I have shown you ball. Circle. Do you remember ball and circle? Yes. Note it down in your copy. How does the shape look like? How will you identify Square. How will you identify rectangle? How will you identify triangle and as well as circle? Square. All the four sides are equal. Rectangle. Opposite sides are equal. Do you see? Up, down, then this and this. Left, right. Yes. Say it properly. Rectangle, top, bottom, left, right. Top, bottom are equal. Left, right are equal. Triangle, three sides. They are joined together. One line is missing. That's what? It's a triangle. Circle. Circle has no edges. You see, it's round. Whereas triangle is having three edges or you can say three corners. Yes, that's the point. You have to get it right. Then what we have, let's see. Okay, that's a house. How can we make a house with just adding all the objects? Triangle. Rectangle and square and circle. You can also form these kinds of house with all the four shapes shown. Triangle, rectangle, square and circle. Draw in your copy and color it. You will just enjoy coloring it. I did it to different color. You can also add different colors and enjoy it. You will be able to make different shapes. Let's see what's next. Okay. Three dimensional shapes. Three dimensional shapes. You will get these things in your book. First one is cube. Okay. First one is cube. Do you see? All the sides are showing up. 
how many sides there are? One, two, three, four. And then down also we have some corners. One, two, three, four. Total, eight corners. Yes. Yes, students. Cubes are having eight corners. Then comes cylinder. Do you see that? All the objects, all the sides, we don't have any sides, isn't it? You got it. Yes. Cylinder are not having any sides. It's circle at the top and down also it's having a circle. See that pencil? At the top part, it's a circle. At the bottom, it's a what? Triangle shape, isn't it? Yes, you will find many objects which are carrying different, different shapes. Let's see the different part. We are having sphere. Yes, round surface, round figure, ball. That's a sphere which has no edges. It is round in figure. Then comes cone. Cones are having one corner, one cone, okay, and the rest part down is a big circle. Do you see that birthday cap? Yes, that's a birthday cap and it has got a big round surface. That's what a very special thing is about cone. It's different from all. Do you see? Do you have a birthday cap? Okay, just make a similarity between triangle and a cone. You will find a big difference. But the objects, but the uh, figure are all same. Let's see what's next. We are having cuboid. And cuboid figures are also same as cube. But the similarities are with rectangle. One. Two, three, four. Four corner at the top and let count the down one. One, two, three, four. Count it. You will find cuboid are having eight corner. One side is not been shown but the other side is also similar as the front side. So you can identify how many corners does a cuboid is having. Now, Three-dimensional figure or you can say three-dimensional shapes. These shapes are having different corners, different figures and it's way more different from square, rectangle, triangle and circle. Okay, now you got how many cones are there, how many corners are there in a rectangle, in a square and in a triangle. Whereas Sphere or you can say circle is having no edges, no corners. Now, you have got what these shapes, how these shapes are formed. Let's see what's next. It's a house. Do you see a house? Yes, it is formed with different shapes. Can you just tell me how many different shapes are here in this house? I see rectangle, triangle, square, even circle. Oops, circle is missing. Yes, circle is missing. But the, do you see there is a half circle out there? Yes. Now, you can also count and tell me in the comment whether how many shapes are there in this house. Let's see what we have next. We are having different shapes. We did this all shapes. Can you just identify how many shapes are there? There are four shapes. First one, second, third and fourth. Just identify it quickly. I'll give you some time. Okay, let me say you. How many different shapes are there? First is cone, then is cube, then is 
sphere and then cylinder four shapes are there in this figure you have to identify and tell it with me cube cone cylinder and a sphere four shapes cone cube cylinder sphere cone cube cylinder sphere yes note it down in your copy it will help you to memorize cone cube cylinder sphere next comes happy ending i know you are excited yes we did the first chapter am i all clear i have explained you how we can form different lines with just a straight line horizontal vertical slanting now i have explained how we can form different shapes by joining horizontal vertical and slanting you must be clear about it i know you love the shapes find out near you and try to identify how many shapes are there in a room you will see your door you will see your book you see your mobile because these all objects are having a different shapes and one more thing i must clear it if you are having any kind of doubt i am always there to help you just comment down below if you have not understood any of the shape i'll try my best to explain you and clear all the doubts till then keep learning from vistas learning bye bye and take care